Are you interested in leveling up faster or maybe you just want to get through the scoreboard quicker? Let's go over how you can do that with one of these very simple chems that you can make and take advantage of right now. The chem in question is berry mintats. Have you ever heard of them? Do you use them? Well, you probably should start. If you don't know how to make them, let's go over how to make them, where to get the ingredients, where to even get the recipe and everything else that you need so that way you can level up faster. As you can see, Berry Mentats are a chem, and if you look down below, it says that it gives you plus five intelligence and highlights living targets for five minutes. However, it does increase thirst. By increasing your intelligence, you're actually going to be increasing your XP, which can be used to either level up or to get through the scoreboard faster, as there is a weekly or daily challenge every day that gives you extra score for getting so much XP. One of the easiest ways to get recipes for Mentats, Berry Mentats, is to actually locate this trader here. It is a random encounter. They have set spawns, but just random things actually spawn in here. Sometimes you get dogs, sometimes you get blood eagles, sometimes you get the scavenger trader that actually sells rare apparel. You can also get the exact same trader, and they sell bow plans. But this one right here just happens to have all the wonderful recipes. On her person so she's got antibiotics got berry mentats has regular mentats psycho buffs keto spit overdrive all that stuff so if there's anything that you're looking for this is a good way to get it just be aware the berry mentats does cost 980 caps and i am on a character that has a higher charisma so that's probably going to be lower than what it is for most of you guys if you have great mentats i would actually pop one of those before you go in to buy that so just be aware of how much all this stuff costs. But this is the easiest way to get it, unless you're part of the Enclave, and then you can just go into the bunker and actually buy it from one of the robots in the Enclave. Now that you know where to get that Berry Mentats recipe, let's go over what it actually takes to make the Berry Mentats. So that way you can see what your ingredients are. So we'll go in here under Drugs. It says Berry Mentats, and it says we need Brain Fungus 1, Firecracker Berry, mintats and starlight berries so if you don't have mintats in your inventory you might want to also be able to make those mintats you'll be seeing some of the actual um, ingredients that you need for mintats anyway in this video because I try to make the most of every situation that I get into in the game so for mintats you would also need to learn that plan you can learn it from many different sources but if you don't have it you can also get it from that trader that I just showed and that way you could get both of them. So if you don't know that recipe, when you're in there buying berry mentats, go ahead and pick that up as well. Mentats only requires three ingredients, fire caps, carrot flour, and brain fungus. Before we head out into the wasteland looking for all these ingredients, there's a couple things that you should know real quick. You want to go into your perception and equip the card Green Thumb. This will actually give you twice as much of the ingredients that you're trying to pick. Instead of getting one brain fungus, you'll get two. The next one that you should equip is Good With Salt 3. You don't want these ingredients to start going bad, so this will actually prevent that from happening. Once you've made your actual your berry mentats or your mentats, that whatever you're trying to make, you can unequip this if you don't have any ingredients that you're worried about going bad. The first ingredient that I'm going to start with is firecracker berries and it is better to find them over a foundation outpost. This is where eviction notice actually happens and as you can see it's right beside foundation. I actually have a camp down here. Surprise, surprise, so that way I can farm the berry mentats faster. So if you look around here, you'll see that there's firecracker berries everywhere. You have to be quick when you pick these up because they will explode if you do not and then you won't be able to harvest them. So as you can see, they're all over the place. You just go over and pick them all up. See, it says firecracker berry two. And then wild carrot flour is another ingredient that you actually need to make regular mentats. So I go ahead and pick those up too while I'm here. Between where I actually have my camp located and where eviction notice actually occurs, there are firecracker berries everywhere around here. So you just need to be aware and go around and pick them up. They're easier to see at night. So if it's dark out, maybe come over here and do it then. I always just kind of go whenever I am done with the eviction notice. I just kind of hop around and find all of them. There are the car carrot flowers are here as well so you can go ahead and pick those up if you're thinking about making mentats. So you can kind of get two ingredients with one. There's not as many carrot flowers here but there is a ton of firecracker berries all over the place. 
You can also find firecracker berries here down here at Fort Defiance and there are some more carrot flowers down there as well. So after you get done with you know lining the sand or if you're looking for a dress you just go out there and pick them or pick them before you go in. Let's go and find some starlight berries. This is by far the hardest ingredient for you to get. I actually have a camp right up here that I normally use. So we'll go up there. There's starlight berries everywhere at the, in this area. You really have to hunt for them. It's one of the few things that you actually pick in this game that if somebody else comes along and picks it before you, you may not be able to pick it up. So here I am. We are right here next to this wonderful sign. I think it says like 64 or 81. I can't see it obviously because my wonderful camp's in the way now. But there are fire caps here, which is an ingredient that you need for mint hats, which is by far the hardest ingredient for you to also get for mint hats. So this is like a two for one spot. That's my death claw. But as you can see, there's starlight berries here. There's starlight berries over here next to this right there. And there's more right here. And they're all over the place. There's some across the way going over there to the uh, camp over there. And then they're all over this hill. Like you can see right there, there's a fire cap more than likely. There's starlight berries there, but they are everywhere. You just kind of go all the way up to the train tracks up there and bridge, and you will find a ton. Another great location for you to actually look at is up here at the Tyler County Fairgrounds and near the dirt track. They're kind of on the road. You kind of just need to look for them. They're behind the cars and everywhere else. There's a few also in Helvetia, so if you're going to pick up wood or you're there also for Fajnot Day, which is come and gone, I know. But you can also pick those up there and get a couple ingredients on the way. Next up, let's get some brain fungus. So one of the best places to go is Emmett Mountain Disposal site. This is where Radiation Rumble happens. So only go here if you're already there for Radiation Rumble. You just kind of pick it up before it starts or you know right after it's ended. So always go to this table here on the left when you first come in. You can see there's the bench and everything. There's always some Barry Mentats sitting right there as long as somebody else hasn't picked them up. And then you just want to go back this way. There's some you know, spare scrap there that you can pick up. But you go down here and there's brain fungus there, brain fungus there, brain fungus here and there. So there's a couple different ones that you can kind of pick up. And then you come down and there's brain fungus right here above you. There's quite a few. And then here. And over here on this back wall as well. So after Radiation Rumble, just come in here and pick you up some brain fungus. Another good location to find brain fungus is anywhere down in the Cranberry Bog, in the mire. It seems to be just about everywhere. Also, if you ever go to a fissure site, there are normally a couple right around a fissure site as well. After you're done with Radiation Rumble and you've gotten all your brain fungus, most of the time I'm over in Cucumber, I don't know if you guys are, but I am. So I end up waddling down to the train station. As you can see, it's right there. It's not that far, but on the way, there's actually a lot of firecracker berries that you can pick up. I do believe there's also some carrot, flower ba oh, <laughs> carrot flowers around here. They're definitely not berries, are they? See, here's some there. Just make sure you hit that green thumb on. But they are definitely everywhere. And they're over here near White Springs too. So just kind of look around and see if you can find them. Like, let's go down this way. This is Lost Home. If you watch me do live streams, you'll know why I come down here. So I come down here pretty frequently. But there's brain fungus right around here. You just kind of pick it up as you come through. And then it is literally everywhere, guys. Like you can just kind of jump up in the air and keep finding it. And it will be literally everywhere. Like Invaders from Beyond, one of those happens down here. And you can get brain fungus while you're there. But it is everywhere. See, there's some right here. And you just kind of keep on looking around and if you just run through all this you will find a ton I promise more here while you're down here getting brain fungus also be on the lookout for carrot flowers because they're also up here obviously they won't be down 
in these little ravines here they'll be up on the land so just kind of be on the lookout for them because they are down here and you can also pick those up if you happen to make mint hats as well the one thing you do need to know about brain fungus is if you're making mint hats and then making berry mint hats you need double the amount of brain fungus because both of them take brain fungus in order to be made all these ingredients can be found scattered throughout the wasteland. These are just some of the places that I go to to actually get the ingredients to try to help you out a little bit. Before you go rushing back home or to the nearest chemistry station, you need to make sure that you have the right cards on so that way you get the most out of your berry mint hats. You want to get as many as you possibly can when you make them, right? Because you went through all this hard work to get all the ingredients. So make sure you had green thumb on before you picked everything. I would be on a team and actually do inspirational just because you get extra XP and you do get XP from actually making these guys. So anything you can do to boost your XP at the same time, you can feel free to use those. But I'd just go ahead and have those on. You also need to have chemist. Chemist is going to get you double the quantity when you craft chems. And then also super duper. Anytime you're making anything, always have super duper on because it just makes the chance of you being able to double it higher so 30 percent at three stars so that means that possibly i'll get extra ones when i make them now that you have the right cards equipped and everything's looking good head over to your nearest chemistry station go to your drugs again as you can see you'll know if you have chemist on because if you don't have chemist on it'll just say berry mentats not times two so with the chemist on it always says times two so let's go ahead and look at these mentats again so like i said the mentats take the brain fungus carrot flower and fire caps so you can make some of those if you need to and then the berry mentats take brain fungus firecracker berry mentats and starlight berries so with those mentats i just made i'll have some ingredients for that as well now I wasn't running around and really trying that hard to pick up any ingredients to be quite honest with you so I'm not going to be able to make very many right now but that is 16 that I just made. Don't go popping those berry mint hats just yet guys. So the last thing I want to tell you is to make sure before you start taking them that you have chemphene on. Now this makes the chems last 100% longer if you can get it up to 3 stars. I know it's under endurance but if you can manage to put 3 points into endurance just so that way you can get this card if you're going to be trying to level up faster for that extra XP so you can get to the scoreboard or just level up in general. Make sure you have chemphene on. That means it will last a lot longer guys. And you want to make sure that since it's so hard to make them that you can actually get them made and then they last longer you're not going to be running through them every couple minutes i really hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to leave me a big vault boy thumbs up if you like the video and to nuke that subscribe button on the way out i do want to take the time to say thank you to everyone that watched this and i love you guys and let's go over our channel members real quick i do have a quantum death claw plana and glowing death claws it's dante indie rap pt buns hokey 97 raymond reddington sensor eric bimmy j bogbush alan chapman sheldon ryland ryan 2 gamer anti-evasive the red wah Professor Ginky, Lala, and Buddy, B Bud Emmer. Sorry, Bud. I love you guys. Take care.